Greetings and welcome back to Autonauts. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are here and I'm looking and trying to figure out why we're not getting any panels made. Uh, so let's figure that out first of all. Panel builder. That's a panel storage person. What about the panel builder? Hello? Uh, shift, move the thingamajingy. Take from panel storage. Um, uh, no. Add to blueprint. Okay, so that's not that bot. Right, we're gonna have to find this panel builder. Okay, shift R to reset the uh, the look of the landscape there. Let's go and look at our forest makers. Hopefully it's in here. Panel maker. No, it's plank maker, not panel maker. <laughs> Whoops. There we are. Take from plank storage. Okay, there's something wrong here. Something is very wrong here. Let's go and talk to this panel maker. We probably need to stop this little bot over here. Go, come, come over here, bot. I'm wondering if something is wrong. Oh dear. We didn't get to stow the item. Hmm. Let's stop you and then trade. Uh, you do have a backpack. Why are you not putting it in your backpack? Hmm? So for some reason... Alright, let me just take that from you. And w let, Let's play the, the thing again. Go on, go on. I'll go over here and then put that one back in the, in the box. There we go. Okay, pot... Um, the... Uh, the bot is going back. Oh boy. Okay. So for some reason, they can't put that panel or the square frame in there. I. Okay. Well, let's stop this then, and we'll we'll try it again. Okay. Let's put that over there. I think instead of stowing the item, we probably need to just add to the the workbench. Okay. So let's just take this. Um, instead of stow held item and retrieve, we can just grab it, which I need to take off, go away, and then put this here instead. So let's move these two up. There we go. Pull the way up here. Square frame storage. Go to the bench. I guess we're going to have to do that. That's a shame. But it's okay. We'll just... Hopefully that will work for us. Uh, let's go and see what else we need. Four planks for this. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four. And let's drop it off over here. And then four pegs. Oops, there we go. One, two, three, and four. And over here, drop it off. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this one drops their frame off. I'm going and getting the planks. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, coming back, coming back. Looking good, looking good. Dang, I didn't realize for some reason that this cannot store a um, the panel or the frame in his backpack. That's quite sad. He does have a backpack slot. Okay, so this is getting stored there. Hooray, yay. Okay, that'll that'll be that, I guess. I mean, what else can you do about it, right? Anyway, that solves that problem. At least we'll get some panels made. Um, this area is looking really good, except we do have some apples falling out of the area. And now, a few people have said, hey, you should make the area bigger, the, the gathering area bigger than the storage area. And I agree, and I have talked about that before, um, but the problem with that is, is when you're using the signs, and I wonder if there's a need to put a different sign here or increase one of the signs uh, or something like that. That's kind of unfortunate. I, I really wish it wasn't that way. Which one is which? So this is going to be the orchard diggers. Okay, I don't want them to actually dig anything at the moment. What we could also do is have a bot carrying apples from the edges and taking them into the storage box uh, right now. 
and that might be a better solution. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to need to get higher level wove from these little uh, kitty winks. So we might start on some of those fancier things, like, for example, the log cabins. Now that's going to create a whole other kind of uh, production chain. So we might just end up doing that. Uh, so we can look at this and see how that happens. Let's go and see the Autonautopedia. Where is it? It is there. Okay, great. Let's go here. Okay, a few people have said flails for the bushes, by the way, and I haven't switched to those because it's a pain in the socks to switch to those. So maybe when we go repro reprogram bots, but at the moment I don't actually care. Um, the scooter, I was thinking about a scooter. I don't know if we can make the wheel yet. Uh, we needed a special workbench to make that, so we have to check on that and see if that's available. Now then, um, right, we need, we have cereal, okay, grain, straw. Okay, so straw is from cereal being beaten and you get straw. Okay, sounds interesting. Hay bales, we don't have that just yet. Scarecrow, that looks fun. From arable farming. Good workbench plus straw plus stick equals plus pumpkin equals scarecrow. Oh, did we ever set up the sign making bot? I don't think so. All right, let's set up a table for that. Because that seems like a good idea to me. Ah, yes, and we were going to make this crude torch, and that's why we were getting some straw out here. We seem to have done a whole bunch of things that we didn't actually do, did we? <laughs> anyway, let's go over here, and I think what I want to do is grab ourselves a workbench. Uh, let's go here, maybe, and choose uh, to make... It is the good workbench that we can use to make billboards and signs. I'm really curious if billboards are different in some way. Let's see, billboard, log, and planks. Let's go and check that out. Okay, so let's set it over here, please. And planks four. Let's go grab these. One, two, three, four. Yay. Never used a billboard before, so this should be interesting, I think. Oh my god, that's big. It's huge. Holy fuzzy cats. Okay, so let's uh, Z it. Let's see what we got here. The area is a pretty big area. I don't know if it's any bigger than... That's like wider than the entire orchard there. Um, this might do actually for the orchard instead. Let's see. If we go down here, let's just drop this billboard off over there instead. And I'm going to pick up the apple sign. In fact, what I'm going to do with the apple sign is just pick it up gently. Gently, gently. And then Z it as well. Can we move this out? No, this is the max area of um, the... <laughs> of this sign. So let's go and drop this off over here because let's put that over there. And we're going to get our people relinked to this sign. <laughs> going to pick this one up. Let's link this sign. Let's Z this and put the area, max the area, move it over. We're just going to do this whole place like this, I think. Just do one, two, like that. So we'll go like this. Yay. And then when we put the sign down, perhaps, we should... Maybe that's when we should link it. Or not. We don't even have to link it. Can you put it down, please? Hello. Okay, can I link it? Put it there. Sure, it'll stick in the trees the wrong way. That'll be just fine. All right, let's go and click this. And I forgot to Z it and call it apples. All right, good. Yay. Can I put this down here? Can I put it down the correct way over there? Please, thank you. Yay. All right. So what I want to do with the apple people is <laughs> change them over to the new sign instead. So I want to do this. Let's get the apple team here. Apple beaters. Okay. We want to go to stop. 
record, change sign, select structure, this thing over there, boom. So now we know, and this is a great thing to figure out, that the billboards have a larger area than the regular signs. So let's stop this. Um, record, oopsies, there we go. Edit area, select structure, thingy majingy, go, boom, go. Apple storage, stop, record, edit area, select structure, thingy majingy, go. It would be nice to have the ability to like have the entire team. Um, okay, so these are fine. Spiced apples, they're fine. Okay, to, to like change the entire team, their linkage to stuff. So I'm wondering, maybe I shouldn't even bother with signs anymore. Maybe, maybe I should just make billboards instead. But um, anyway, we'll go and uh, just put this down. We'll talk, let's uh, Z this sign real quick and just change the name because this is no longer linked to apples. Let's put that down there and it'll be okay. Actually, let's put it this way. There we go. So we can actually see that it's there. So that tells me, what is this thing? This is a good workbench. So let's go ahead and see if I have any of these good workbenches. Let's see, bot assembly bench, masonry, good workbench. I have four. So I think I'll put them here, like there. And then I'm gonna get a box behind it, like that. And I'm gonna make billboards. We're going to set a bot to doing this for funsies. There we go. Boom. Um, all right, bot, hello, how you doing? We're going to do billboard maker. Billboard M, yay. Okay, go get a log, please. And put it down there. I don't think they can stow these in backpacks. I think they're very, they're too much. Uh, they weigh too much or whatever. Then we'll go get to planks. There we go. Move to pallet. Pick up the thingy majingy four times, please. Uh, there we go. Four times. Yay. Okay. And then put it on here four times. Okay. And then we'll just do add to workbench until hands empty. Um, and I'm going to stop this for now, and I'm going to pick up three more planks. I forgot to pick up all of them. One, two, three, and then make the thing. Okay, and then we'll record again. Pick up this, and place inbox. One kilobyte free. Holy fuzzy cats. Boom. Go. Alright, so this is going to be our billboard area that we're going to make these things, and that's going to make it a lot easier on us uh, to get those things done. Oh, that bot is charging up. Very, very nice. Alright, how's this doing? We have 33 of 100 in storage there. That's quite nice. Alright, so, wow. What is the next step? I guess the next step is those fancy houses, um, which means we need a lot of cereal crops. I think we also need tools as well, uh, like hose. I don't think we have any hose. Can I make those here at this bench? Let's go check real quick. Okay, we can make fishing sticks, crude picks, scythe, and hose. Yes, we can. I might set up making a flails and hose, so we need to get a few more of these workbenches made. I don't think we have any at all. Yeah, let's go and set those up for our bots. Let's have them make these. Yay. So they can get going on that. Why are they waiting? Why is everybody waiting? Okay, some of them are not waiting, so they're doing okay. Wow, we have 10 panels. I'm going to make more panels. Uh, people have said uh, before this that, hey, you know, <laughs> you need a lot of panels and a lot of pegs and a lot of things. Can I make that wheel here? Yeah, we can actually. Look at this. Let's go and get a couple of crude planks for this. Get that done. Yay. Because I want to build a scooter. I really want to build a scooter. Can I build that here at this basic bot workbench? Where do I get those things, I wonder? Let's see. How do I make that thing? 
Oh, there it is. Okay, plank and pole and crude wheel. Okay, one plank. And we'll store that. Three poles. One, two, three. Let's go and shove those in there. One, two, three. And plank. Boom. And I need another wheel. Crap. No! <laughs> I'll change this one real quick to a wheel and hopefully the bot won't notice. Two planks. One, two, boom, boom. And I hope I remember what was here. Two planks. This is making... I don't remember what it was making. No! Oh dang, I completely forgot what was being made here. Oh no! Was anything being made? Maybe nothing was being made here. Unless this was... Okay, let's see. We have axes, spade, pickaxes, and mallets. There's got to be something being made here. Maybe nothing? Maybe it was... Was it blades? Was it crude blades? Oh no, I don't remember. Oh jeez. I thought it would be... Ah, oh, yeah, we know what's there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Like a silly person I have completely forgotten. Alright, I don't know how to work this. I think... Do we put it in our slots? Oh yeah, there we go. This is so weird that she just sort of hops around on the scooter. I remember in the uh, early Axis version, she was... It was like she glide, glided around on this thing. So this is a little bit strange there. But that's okay. It'll be fine. Uh, we'll put you in the forest makers. Thank you very much. Anyway... Uh, we have that. Good. A couple of people asked me to make this. No idea what that other thing is for. We'll find out, I guess. Now, do we need flails? Yes, I think we do. So hopefully these are done. Good. So this is a good way of doing things. Like you figure out what you need, tell the bots to make them, and then do another project. That makes life a lot easier. Let's just put a couple of these here, and then a couple of storage boxes. I think I want storage boxes for these tools. Some people may say they're not necessary, but eh, it's fine. So then let's start off with first one. And that's going to be flail. And then we'll have the hoe here. Crude blade and stick. And this is what sticks? Wow. Okay. So I'm going to grab a bot and teach them to do stuff. Let's see, two sticks for a flail. So we'll just go ahead and grab all the sticks we we can, four of them specifically. Oh no, shoot, okay. Let's teach it. All right. Let's do a loop here, uh, four times. All right. And then just drop it off here. Add four times. Actually, until a hand's empty should be enough. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just pick up these items here. Move, find, move, find. Let's see, what, how do we do this? I think we can do this in a weird order. We can do this as into move there, then find and pick up until, let's see, twice, two times. Okay, and then drop them in here two times. Uh, yep, until hand's empty. All right, and then do it until, yeah, until you're done. Go for it. Alright, that bot's gonna do this. This is a flail M. Okay. Uh, we'll do the same with this. Now they only have one back. You know what? I'll just have it make one crude hoe at a time. We are really not gonna run into issues with this. Ooh, auto toolie. A thousand tools made. That's quite a lot. I didn't expect that, that we made that many. Hopefully there's a charge bot coming to help this bot here. Oh, this is a bog charger. <laughs> Let's see. Is that going to help? Ah, oh, yeah. Look at them winding them up. A few people have asked, hey, how do they work? You know, energy conservation and all that. 
they charge each other by winding each other up. So yeah, that's how it happens. Anyway, here we go. Why is this bot waiting? Can they only pick up one at a time? No! You, hey. <gasps> no! They can only... Um... Shoot. Ha. Uh, hmm. You know what I could do? I could do something different. I'm gonna do... Something different. We're gonna do... This way. Oopsies. Stop that. Stop it! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Find nearest, pick up, move to crude storage, add to there. And we're gonna do this twice. I think that's a better way of doing this. Okay, I wanna pick up this thing from you. Go ahead and do this. There you go. Ha. <sighs> Yep, that's the way we have to do it, I think. Just have him pick up, drop, pick up, drop, because he can't pick up two at the same time. And that's good warning for the crude hoe as well. All right, so let's do... This is going to be the hoe maker. That doesn't sound quite right, does it? Uh, yeah, hoe maker. Um, and we're going to do the same here. So what I want you to do is grab a crude blade and a stick. Since it's fairly far away here. Oh, it's actually not far away, is it, at all? Um, Alright, so let's go to the stick storage. Grab a stick. Put it in your backpack. Grab a blade. Okay. Drop it here. Cue it. Boom. Okay, pick it up. And drop it in. And be done. Do your life. Have a nice day. Great. Okay, two more forest makers doing the thing. All right, of 114 bots right now. This is great. This feels really good to have this many bots practicing automation. So exciting. Okay, so what do we want to do next? We have a lot of stuff over here. We can start by kind of filling in these holes where we were experimenting and trying to figure out what the heck to do with stuff. Let's just dig this back in. Dig the hole to make it full. This is a new, new way of doing things, but it's fine. All right, do the same over here. And I guess we should set up an area for these crops, the cereal crops. I think the hardest thing is going to be figuring out how to use the flail on stuff or something. Uh, I guess we need to just do it in the area where we're growing these things. Maybe that's going to be the best way to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and dig up an area here. Or we could get uh, the bots to do it, perhaps. I don't know. Wait, do we need to do this or do we need to do this a little bit differently? Hmm. I wonder if in our orchard group we have a bot that carries turf. I can't quite remember if we do or not. <laughs> I can't quite remember if we do or not. Hmm. What are we missing out on here? Panels? We have so many panels. Why is this an issue? Was that panel maker not doing their job or something? Hmm. Or the panel builder? Let's see, builders. Oh no! We ran out of shovel. Right, let's get another shovel. She doesn't seem to be traveling that much faster with the scooter anyway. Okay, so builder panels. What are you doing? You're going move to panel storage. Are your hands full? You don't look like your hands are full. Yeah, you are. Find nearest sign. Move to blueprint. This is really strange. All right, let's just finish up this area quickly. What I should do is actually get a bot to do this digging. It's really not ideal at the moment. And while they're doing the digging, I can just be helping this bot do their own thing. Now we need to figure out also how to grow this 
uh, cereal. Let's let's find out that real quick because we might need somebody to do hoeing on the ground as well. All right, this goes, this is regular soil and then grain. Okay, that's important. I do want to dig up these bushes here, however. Let's get that going. And I think I'll set out a billboard here and make the grain area slightly smaller than the um, than the billboard and then have yeah have the whole thing work that way that, that would be quite interesting I think I think it would work very well okay let's just dig this up and I'll grow and go grow and grab grow and grab mm -hmm. go and grab a billboard or something okay dig 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 come on oh no I hate when I do that like leave just slightly too soon it's like no lose all the progress okay let's get this here grab this tool put it here I want to take all the tools out of here and then we might have to move some of this stuff yeah let's grab this and just put it off to the side somewhere um, let's get a billboard and I don't know if we have a dig bot or not we have the turf digging bot I'm wondering if we should add the orchard bot out here or not. All right, let's put put a uh, put a sign out here. Let's go and get the orchard team. I think I need to grab the orchard thingy, majingy. Did I put that one down. Okay, good. Oh, this is great! Look at all that food going. Man, we're feeding them kids. All right, orchard bots, let's go. I don't know if the orchard team is stopped or not. Let's see, what do we have? We have orchard dig and orchard turf. I think we want to just do... Alright, we'll have the orchard turf happen right there. Uh, orchard dig. We want you to stop. Okay, and orchard turf. Go ahead. Yeah, there we go. And you can do your thing, and then we'll have the orchard uh, turf storage. Do we have a turf storage person? This should be bot charger, not bog charger. That's quite silly. Um, there we go. Also, I want to make some more bots. So let's talk to this bot and say, hey, how you doing? I should have just done this. Bot assembler. Oops, no, I don't want to put you. No, no, no. I'm, I don't want to, like, I don't want to pick you up. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, um, let's get, uh, I feel like we're going to need a mountain of storage boxes for turf. I think, though, or we could just have it stored in a huge pile somewhere. Let's do that. Let's have it stored in a huge pile somewhere, shall we? Clay pots, crude kilns, crude clay stations. That sounds amazing. Ready for that. I am so ready for cool stuff. Let's get, how, what do we need from here? Stone pole, square frame, and panel. Great. Okay, we're getting those. Delete this little guy. Okay, and kilns. Oh, we need clay for those. I guess I may have to make those myself. Anyway. Whew. Turf bot. Hmm. Let's see. Turf. Turf. Uh, turf. Mover. Not mover. Uh, storage, maybe? Yeah, we'll do storage. How about that? Alright, dude. Hey there. Come over here, pick up stuff until you get all you can. Alright, pick up turf. Uh, look at the... this thing. Yeah, ish. Edit area. Actually, hmm. This is a hard one because I want it to look all over the place for this. You know what? We may just have to do this as we can. All right, so we're going to put this whole thing into a repeat loop till your hands are full and then have it drop off like over here. Yeah, there you go. Until, yeah, drop all, drop all. That's perfect. Do that forever. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Oh, textiles and clothing. Hello. 
Hey, clothing for the kitty winks. Great, we got all kinds of stuff. Man, we got stuff. What does a threshing machine do? We need to find this out. We need to find this information. Figure it out. Holy fuzzy cats, we need good gears and stuff. Can we make good gears? I don't think we can make good gears yet. We have these things. Panel, pole. I'm going to make two of these maybe. And a crude clothing station. Sure. No idea what these do, but let's put them down anyway. Put one there and maybe one there. All right, and you guys keep building all this stuff, please. Oh, the turf bot is working it. Check that out. Now then, I don't know if I should have this cereal farm over here. I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's not a good idea. But it feels like straw is something that it is, I don't know, useful for many different things. So let us figure that out. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to use cereal and stuff. I guess we can check the Autonautopedia anyway and find out. Okay, so cereal. Is that used in cereal? Okay, stewed berries. We need the crude cooking pot, spice berries, washer, and clay pots. Wow, so we need this level of food to make the next level of food. Funky. All right, mushroom pie, stew. What is this stuff? Crude dough. Okay. Kind of looking. Oh, this looks fun. Cauldron. You get honey from that. Huh. And this ends up being berry jam. Okay, so we're using lower level products to go into higher level products. That's pretty fun. Pretty fun indeed. Okay, so each of these has its own upgrade area. And it makes me wonder if we should just focus on one thing instead of all the things. Because right now we have a ton of berries. So maybe we should just do the berry stuff instead. We have milk going on. Let's see, this is butter. Butter, butter, butter. We don't have a butter churn yet. Pastry. Good flour. Okay. All right, well, this is happening for now. That's good. Um, hmm. I think, okay, so here we have a lot of the berry stuff. Why are we, what's the issue with the berry stuff now? We're looking for berries and weeds. They're waiting for weeds or what? What's going on with this berry stuff? So berry storage is full. Spice berries one. What are you waiting for, dude? Add to crude mixing pot. Something's gone wrong here. Completely wrong. Aw, oh, jeez. No! Why has this gone wrong? No! Well, these are completely full, which is interesting. Okay, this is herbed mushrooms. I'm wondering if we should just skip the mushrooms altogether and just leave that, because that is not a very profitable process to do at all. It's quite silly. Let's do this, the orchard people. We'll just have to remember that the turf person is a bit, um, they have to be moved instead. So let's move this over here. Yay. Go. I'll try to remember that for the next time. I'm wondering if I should just take off the mushroom maker people and just stop them all together because they're not actually doing much here. I am really wondering though about this whole situation. Why are we not making more berries? Is it because this is full? Why is it blinking? It's blinking like it's full but it only has 57 in there. Maybe that's not why they're not making stuff. Maybe they are until spice berries are just full. Okay. So they're they're it's they're seeing it as full. Okay, so maybe this is a good time to actually go down here. And what we can do is dig up these various plants here. Let me grab the spade. Oh, where's my character? Where are you? There you are. I wonder why they changed the animation for that, because hopping with a scooter is a bit silly. I mean, this, th to be fair though, the scooter does have square wheels, but still. Um, it would make sense more if she was just kind of going along 
doing the stuffs and the things. Smoothly going. I guess we should check out more research though. Okay, there we go. Let's just dig these up. Dig, dig, dig. They are just generating that wealth like crazy, aren't they? Looking good. Looking real good. Okay, let's put this... Uh, put the spade over there. Gather the berries. One, two, three, and four. And actually put these... I'll put them on off to the side. I'm going to grab some pieces of turf here. One two, three, and four, and just lay them down. Okay, so that looks nice. And I think we can start making this other stuff over here. Now let's find out where water comes from. Can we just get that from a lake or something? Like a bucket of water? Maybe? Let's find out. Is this water? No, that's berry jam. Water, watery porridge. Hey, this is something we can make, and that's a level that's a level two item though. These are level three. So we need something better than watery porridge. Crude bread, however, is a level three. And that's what we need. We need flour, dough, and oven. Okay, bread is level four food. Good dough and good oven. And then buttered bread, whoa. That's like the pinnacle of our civilization so far. Okay, water is crude bucket plus fresh water. And I'm guessing that's just from a lake or something uh, like this. This is nice that we have this lake here. I guess we're going to need some buckets. I didn't even think about that. Let's, uh, let's do that real quick. Set up bucket making. I'm not sure where we make those. Let's try over here. We make them here. Uh, apparently not. Hmm. Autonautopedia, tell us where to go. It was so funny when people said, hey, just use the, the, the search box. And I'm like, I didn't know there was a search box. <laughs> All right, good workbench plus four planks. All right, let's do that real quick. Good workbench is down here. Yay. And we'll shove that right here. That would be, will be fine. Get ourselves a box. It's so funny how like you don't see stuff when you're playing. It's just, it's just not there. So let's make buckets. Um, let's teach a bot to do this. Hello. Crude. Bucket M. Okay. Cord please. I want you to get four planks. Oh, we're starting to run out of stuff now that the panel maker's working again. Okay, stop. Okay, get enough for us to just do stuff. Take from plank storage until four times done. Okay, and then we'll go down here and then add to these thingy majingy. Yep, two, three, four. And of course, I forgot to press stop. Recording till hands empty. All right, and then you're gonna get a bucket over there. Please stop standing on the bucket. No. Okay, apparently you gotta walk over here. There we go. Thank you. Pick up the bucket and then put it in the box and be done. Go for it. Do do things. Have fun. Enjoy. Okay, we have one process done. So I think what we'll do is. We might forget about the cereal until they're not even close to done picking up this stuff yet. So we'll leave this to them, let them get on with this, and start making the other things we need to make. We also need to get this clay going. Do we have any clay down here? I don't see anything, so we might need to make the clay uh, stuff up here. There's one clay deposit there, but I want it to be down here where we're making all the food. So what I'm thinking is get the ovens as soon as those are created. Looks like we have some random stuff here, uh, but not the stuff that we actually need. We might need, let's see, crude clay station. We need those to have panels, but the ovens, the kilns, we're going to have to deliver the clay ourselves. So anyway, that's something that we can do in the next episode. Um, but for now, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.